ladies and gentlemen, this is for the next episode of Carl's Computing Review in retro gaming. I had actually decided to actually rebuild an old computer system with this particular motherboard, which actually is a no-name motherboard. I could no longer find the manufacturer on the actual internet. It's using an Intel Pentium, uh, Pentium 2 350. Uh, I've also added some memory sticks here, uh, four of them of 128 to bring it up to 512. Still uses some old ISA slots and PCI with an AGP. Now I wanted to play some of the earlier DOS games and early Windows environment games. So that's the re simple reason why I had actually decided to go back to my roots. In regards to this, so I figured to use this, this would be simply great for an old gaming rig since uh, using Windows 95, Windows 98, uh, Windows 98 second edition actually doesn't require that much horsepower and only having 32 gigs of RAM, uh, 32 megs of RAM uh, was never enough so I figured might as well fill it up all the way to the very top. So this is basically the board I'm going to be using for the gaming rig itself. Uh, let me switch over to the compo other components that I have here. There's at least four or five others which I'm going to be using. I haven't decided on which one yet. Now here are the two video cards that I have. This one here happens to be a uh, NVIDIA GeoForce 2 card with 32 megs of RAM. It has both two video card, uh, two display ports out. The one I'm going to be using the most is the DB15 here. Uh, if I do decide to go with this one, because I don't need two monitors, it's just the one. Or with the old Diamond Max uh, Savage 4, which, uh, which comes in completely in. I have actually installed it once, and I didn't have to install the drivers for it. Here's the PCIe, PCI, I should see, not PCIe, PCI. Uh, Sound Blaster 60, uh, uh, Sound Blaster 128. Again, this is usually built in with the drivers for the OS. Uh, I still had left over some old networking cards. An old uh, D Link networking card, half height, and an old 3D, 3Com one. So these these two are really good this one here is more popular the three com because the drivers have been around the longest uh, this I'm actually going to be probably more likely using because the drivers you can almost pick up anywhere on any operating system including an oddball one like BEOS so that's what I am going to use in regards to it and I'll show you uh, in our next video part two the actual casing that I'm going to be making with on this which includes already 450 gig hard drive that I'll be using as for the computer itself and also installing the OS on it with two uh, ID CD burners on it so that'll be it so this is only going to be a short little vid on these ones here the components that I have here once I get it assembled and working, I'll actually power it up and show you everything else on it.